Jonathan Gibbs here at the Expand Podcast for Door to Door Con 6. We're sitting here with Glenn Jenkins and Humless is a new uh, battery energy storage uh, in the marketplace for residential uh, marketplace here in solar. And we're really excited to learn about this product. This is new for me, so I've been uh, really excited about this interview. Tell us about um, your product and why this is gonna be a disruptor here in 2023 in energy storage. Well, John, we've actually been in the battery business for about 12 years, uh, manufacturing lithium ion phosphate batteries. So we've, we've been in the business a, a while. Uh, we started with uh, portable solar generators, and uh, we realized very quickly that uh, the residential market uh, needs a good solution, uh, maybe a few different options that are out there. And so uh, we decided to look at a product that would be completely universal. So if you buy, um, if you want a Tesla power wall, you've got to have Tesla solar panels on the roof, basically, or their kind of system. So what we did is we built a system that's completely universal. It'll work with all the solar panels, it'll work with all the inverters. Um, so if a salesman uh, goes out there and he sells solar, yeah. and the homeowner, typically what you're going to find now, and our research shows that probably about 90% of the homeowners, when they get solar, they say, hey, what about uh, energy storage? Or what about battery backup? And generally, the, the sales guys are going, ah, we're not going to make a lot of money on this, and this is a big hassle. So let's... No, we don't sell uh, battery backup. Yeah, this is, where, this is definitely where the industry is growing. So some really interesting numbers that uh, a lot of people aren't aware of. The larger companies like Sunrun right now have almost a 50% attachment rate uh, for batteries. So the larger companies that are publicly traded, their focus is not just to sell solar anymore. It's literally to sell solar and battery as a full product. And we're seeing this is becoming really, really big, obviously, in the United States in our number one marketplace, California. California is NEM3. This, this is really yep. big. Uh, it's going away in just a couple months that if you basically don't have a battery with your solar system in California. Solar doesn't make sense anymore. So it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so this, is, this could potentially cause uh, an inventory shortage with uh, the, a lot of the biggest suppliers. But you guys have inventory right now. We've got, a lot of in we've got enough inventory right now, and we've got uh, product coming, and we've got enough inventory to do about 1,500 homes right now. So it's great. Uh, so, if there's, so if there's a sales or install network uh, out there right now that, and you're waiting on back in inventory, and your company has to pivot in California because you need to start... Uh, packaging your energy solutions with solar, and you need inventory right now. You guys can ship this these batteries right now. Tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Tell us a little bit about um, uh, the sales pitch. I mean, selling against Tesla is not easy. I've done it for 11 years, like a Solar City and Tesla. It's, it's you're sitting down with consumers. They've got brand recognition. They've got something in their head. How do you position your product against a brand like that? Well, first of all. Elon Musk went to school with me. We went to high school together in South Africa. Come on, is that true? Yeah, he was two years behind me. To tell you the truth, I don't remember at all. He probably remembers me, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> uh, we were, uh, it turns out we were in the uh, chess team together. He was a few years behind me. I was the chess captain, so oh, that's, maybe he remembers that, me. I don't know. But that's an amazing. He, okay, he, so, he so Elon, if you're me, watching but... this, we want, a, we want a rematch. <laughs> we want a chess rematch uh, right now. I'd love, that. I'll, I'd love to host that. I'd be the... I, yeah, you go to play by play on that. But uh, so what we've what we've tried to do is we've come. So we've built a, a, an inverter that's different to the other guys. I started about four years ago developing this inverter, and I basically took the South African model. So what we've done is we've built a hybrid inverter. And what the hybrid inverter lets us do is, if you're going to put solar on the roof, great. Use my inverter, and it can do everything you need to do. We can do net metering, exactly as you would like to do. We're using string inverters. And I, I want to talk a little bit later about where I think the market's going to go because I think it's definitely Tell going to move. Tell me about Where do you think the market's going on the inverse side? Well, I think that we're going to be moving from AC coupled to DC coupled. And I'll tell you why. Yeah, so uh, I have an idea of why, but why, why but don't you tell everybody why that's a big Let's say you live in California and you've put solar on your roof and you were getting 35 cents on a net metering and now they just put you down to 5 cents. Yeah. So why would you sell that back to them at 5 cents and get charged 35 cents when you can use Makes it first? Makes no sense. String inverters do the trick with that. You don't want to put an AC inverter on so that you've got to reinvert it to DC and reinvert it to AC and reinvert it to. Yeah, because you're losing, you're you're losing just power losing every time. You're losing 9, 10% every time. Yeah. So we've taken the bet that we think that the future for 
energy storage for residential is going to be on the DC power. Now, testing and building something in service self the market has some advantages because, you know, in the United States, even in our worst energy markets, we're really privileged. Like, our, our network is up a lot, really, compared to a lot of these other countries. So tell me, about, tell me about testing this and growing this in South Africa and the advantages that you got from that. Well, South Africa enjoys uh, power outages every single day in every single home e right so now. Ev every day there's power outages. Every single day, at least four hours. Right now, there's a huge crisis. So this was built with that in mind. So people selling California and Texas, where the grid is dying, there's power outages on a regular basis. Th this, th this product was basically created for that marketplace. Exactly. Yeah, m most of the uh, solar owners thought, hey, if the grid goes down, my solar is going to work. They right. didn't realize they're not going to have power. So we, we built a hybrid system that says, if you want to just put solar with an inverter, my system will work. If you want to come and add batteries later, you don't even have to do anything else. Just add the batteries. So the cost to upgrade any of your solar customers to energy storage is cheaper than anybody else. And where does the pricing fit in? So I'm, I'm the CEO of a company. I'm looking at storage solutions. Uh, obviously, Edenface has a great product down there. Tesla has a lot of brand recognition, has a great product down there. Where does the pricing for your product come in with, against the big guys that people know about right now? I don't like to be the lowest price, but that's what we are. Okay. Uh, pretty much. Uh, there's a lot of margin in there for, for the resellers, for the door, to go, door guys to get a commission. No, this is important. Some, some, of the products, uh, some of the products that have name recognition are priced higher. And so it's really hard for salespeople to sell these products and X makes money. And, and, and watching this happen for 10 years, a lot of salespeople tend to just kind of give it away. They tend to sell. Yeah. They just cost. say, hey, let's take care of the customer. We're not going to make any money on the power wall or on the battery. So but you guys have enough price uh, advantage. You're, We've you're, got a lot of margin in there for the, for the resellers. A so, lot of margin. So salespeople could actually make money selling this storage product. The, listen, if you're a salesman and you sell solar and the customer says to you, hey, I'm interested in energy storage. And you go, yeah, we got it. You just made an, a, a sale and made yourself a, a couple more grand or whatever it is. So customers... So, um, can get a product that's very competitive with the industry leaders. Salespeople can sell a product and make margin where they otherwise might not have, selling it you know, for the same or even lower price. And uh, this has been market tested in yeah, we've areas got, that we've have- We've got UL listings on everything that we have. We've got Cal California Energy Commission, uh, all the certifications and everything that we need. Yeah, they're getting stickier and stickier with all this. We, we've got it all, so. Sounds like you guys are gonna have a big 2023. We are, we set for that. All right. Humless, keep your eye out for them. They've got product they can ship right now. Thanks a lot. I hope you guys have a great show. Thank you. Yeah, you bet.